All right, Ash, I'm going to explain to you how this works. Well, you already know how it works, but here we go. Rule number, here are the rules. We have open, which is always good because you see the opponent's card. You have same, which is also good. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad as plus. Same is easier to spot. And trade rule is one, which is means no matter by what score you win, you only get to keep one card. And it's not random. Do not play any game that has random rule because random rule will pick your cards for you and you have no, no say in what, what you get. So let's quickly do this. My usual cards. Okay. Um, 47 MD. MD was right. Always pick your corners. Never put your card in the center. Ever. Always pick your corner. So this card, since it's got 9-9 from on the bottom and on the left, perfect for this corner. This card is perfect for this card. This corner, same with Ifra. Ifra is really good. Actually, he's good here, but yeah, he's good here too because see right here, no one has a number that's greater than 6 that can catch. So it's basic addition. So let's do this. I'm going to see if I can put, make that same rule come up but he's got low level cards so I won't be able to do that uh, so same would work like this see how I have a 9 and a 5 there's a 9 on the bottom and a 4 over here if this number was a 5 I could place this card here and it'll flip him because it's, they got the same numbers. Same here. So if I had a 1 and a 7, 1 and a 7 here, I could flip this card easy. That's how the same, same rule is really easy. It's basically, if your card has the same number of the opponent's card or whatever that are the same value on both sides, you'll do something called same and it's actually pretty effective. Um... But I don't have it in this match. Maybe next match I'll do a little lower. Yeah, let, let me just quickly... I have all of these cards. I don't need them. I'll quickly do some low-level cards because I'm choosing really high-level cards and I can't do the same rule. And I really want to show you. I'm sorry about that. I don't even know I could have. I could do that. <laughs> All right, let me just quickly choose. Yeah. Why not? Okay. I will put this card right here. This card is great, right? Let me just, yep. So he's got a 1, I got a 6. Perfect. Watch this. 7, 7, 6, 6. Watch. Same. You get the, how that happened? 7, there was a 7 on the bottom here, and a 6 on the side. And I have 7 and 6. So it flipped this card because it was a greater number. 5 beats 3, and then 5 beats 3 again. Now, if this was a 9, I would have fl flipped this card as well and dominated. There you go. Easy, but AI never misses it. So be careful. AI will never miss that. If you give him a chance, he will always do that. Uh, also, watch out for a rule called plus. Um, none of them, I checked none of my files at any point in this game. I can't share the rule plus, but I will briefly um, explain to you how plus works. Unfortunately, I wish I could show you, but um, I can't. So let me just choose my high-level cards, and I'll, show, I'll tell you what I mean. All right, so... <laughs> All right, here, watch... So this is how plus works. I know someone's calling me. I should put it on airplane mode. 
Cypher is gonna get no. Okay, this is how plus works. So, actually, it would have worked right now. The reason why is Renoa has a ten and a ten, ace and ace. See how this number is five and this number is a five. If I put a card that makes this number add up to, with my number, the same as this. So ten. 10 plus 5 is 15, 10 plus 5 is 15. It would have said plus, and I would have caught, caught the card. So basically, if a, your opponent's number adds up to a number that you have, so if I put it here, it would have went plus, because this number and this number add up to 15, and this number and this number adds up to 15. So if I had an, like an ace and ace here, they would add up to 15 as well, and I would have got another plus. But I don't, unfortunately. So plus is a really easy rule. Uh, and I think I lost this game. <laughs> uh, but no worries. I'm not even going to save here. So actually, no, I'm good. Oh, there we go. Same. See, he had a 5 and a 5, 5 and a 5. So he got a same. And like I said, AI will never miss it. So be careful. AI is really good about that. Okay. I ended up winning anyways. So that's pretty much it. Um, watch out for the elemental slots where you uh, elemental slots will make you know all your card. If you put the wrong elemental on it, it'll make it go down by every number will go down minus one, or it'll go plus one if you put the right elemental on it. Um, pretty straightforward. That's pretty much it. I do want to show you one more thing. Um, that is this though. No, it was in the other file. But anyways, yeah, the you just have to be patient. The best rule is open because you get to see your opponent's card. If it, if the rule is open, then that's perfect. Uh, no, not this. I don't want to load this file. All right, so yeah, I believe you've already passed this place. Yeah, you've passed this place. Um, no, this is not the file, but anyways, um, the reason why the card game is so good is because you get items that are really really strong and let me load this is my current current file that I'm playing watch me save over and delete it okay so these are all my cards right here I currently have all of these cards so that there are a lot of cards here a Gilgamesh Angelo or Medi what do you call them but this was from a lot of grinding, and I mean a lot of grinding. Um, but let's see what let's see what they do here. Ability card. All right. So, uh, Quistus Samantha Soul allows you if you refine it into three Samantha Souls, it'll teach a GF the strength ability. That means you know how you have strength by twenty percent. It'll teach the GF strength by 20, by 40, by 60. That's what Samantha Soul does. Um, Diamond Armors is uh, will teach your GF like HP by 40%. Guardian uh, like GF HP by 40, but that's that's uh, you don't need that. Monitor is an actually a good one because you need one of these adamantis to make Squall's Lion Heart. Um, but I don't know if it's worth it to refine it i mean if you don't care about the cards you can do it right now and then you'll just need pulse ammo um which you can get pretty soon um but i've already got it in disc one i, I pretty much got Squall, squall's ultimate weapon at disc one in the beginning of the game doc's code is uh gives you hp for gfs uh, black hole glow curtains dyna bones i mean these are really good items. Ultima stones, uh, they refine into Ultima magic spell. Really great items. Uh, the more cards you have, strength love, 
um, that's also I think that gives you a strength bonus um, but yeah uh, by the way if you have this card X A T if you can somehow get it you'll be able to get Squall's next weapon because you need one turtle shell for for the for it um, and you'll get the next stage of the red uh, of the red weapon but um, let me show you just an items here so basically um, you can get this from well you can get this from the card but this these are the abilities that you I refined all of these abilities from those cards vitality by 40 and you teach this to GFs um, this right here amnesia greens makes your GF forget abilities so if you go to GFs like say this guy oh I forgot to save ah oh, damn it I forgot to save anyways this is what amnesia greens do I don't need this 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 and then you go here you go HP now whoever has this Thunderbird I can equip strength on really nice anyways that's pretty much it for that um, but check this out look at the stats <laughs> uh, don't worry about it um, some of the magic that I refined you could see I have flare meteor those are all from from the card game but then again I did play 55 hours on it and yeah very easy card game